This is how big your pictures should be on Squarespace. First thing to do is change the size of the photo. Go to Tool, Adjust Size. The image width should be between 1500 pixels and the max is 2500 pixels. People normally use 1500 pixels width by 1000 pixels height. Change inches to pixels and then you enter in 1500 for the width and it'll automatically calculate the height and then hit OK. If you're new to the channel, I design dreams to reality. I make websites for minority owned businesses to bring their vision to life for financial freedom from a nine to five, more family vacations, a website making money while you sleep. I remember feeling alone, barely seeing people that look like me and feeling like the underdog, having a single parent immigrant mom. My dad died in a car accident. People said my high school was ghetto, working random job to designing for the black eyed peas, Kanye West, Shay Mitchell, Minnie RD, Kevin Hart, Kendrick Lamar, Chris Brown, Kid Cudi, Diddy, Neo, to name a few. Then you can close it up and open it up again to check and see how it and see how it looks like. Now we can check how big the file size is by right clicking on the image and clicking to get the info. The image is 3.5 megabytes and that's too big. Maximum image size for Squarespace is 500 kilobytes. To make the file size smaller, we can go to tinypng.com and then we can just drag and drop the image. The size went from 3.5 megabytes to 147 kilobytes. So we're good to go. Now you can download the file. It should be in your downloads folder as a zip file. Just double click the zip file to open it. And then we can double check the size again by right clicking on the image and clicking on get info. Now we can rename the file for SEO, search engine optimization. So people can find your website on the first page of Google. I've taken $5,000 courses by SEO experts like Brian Dean and Neil Patel and they have free information on YouTube to help you figure out your keywords on SEMrush. So let's say you're a photographer. You would describe the photo and put your business name, Jador Photography, hyphen Paris. Let's just say she's in Paris. Then founder, hyphen owner. So when people are searching Paris Photographer and Jador Photography will show up on Google. Having a name IMG2000 means nothing to Google and people can't find you. If your picture is too big, it'll make your website slow and the data says people have a low attention span and will leave your website which isn't good for SEO because it's telling Google that your website isn't helping people solve their problem because they left fast which is a high bounce rate. Google's main objective is to help people find an answer to what they're searching for. So Google won't show your website in the future. Working on SEO helps you have people come to you instead of hustling and finding clients every time you finish a project. It helps you free up time and energy so you can focus on helping your clients instead of growing your business. It takes years of building your SEO to get to that point and it doesn't happen overnight. You can check out the next video I made here. There should be a link you can click on. Ah! <sighs>